Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we'll be working on video number 8 for our Graphic 45 Fairy Dust Mini Album Explosion Box. And I've prepped some things so we can get right into it. First I've cut four pieces from my 8x8 and I have cut them at six inches high and left them eight inches wide and then I've cut them down just like I did the top piece um, for uh, the chipboard. So what I've done is I've, I'm going to measure this and mark it. And let's see if I can find a spot here. All right. I'm going to mark this on the 8 inch side. I'm going to mark it at 4 inches right at the top here, just so I can see a little line there. Make sure that's correct that it didn't move. Looked like it wasn't. Uh... There we go. All right. We got it. So if it's crooked, then that won't be good. Okay get this out of the way here and then I took it just like I did the chipboard and the, that side is so dark I'm gonna do it on the green side just because it's gonna be easier for me to see this is way too dark on the other side so let's do it this way make it easier to see so we don't the only thing we need to make sure is that our bottom edge is the wide part so and that's all we need to make sure of. So I'm going to line up my mark there in my corner. And when you move one, remember to check the other one just to make sure that they're still in line. This one. And I'm going to come back and do the same thing with this other edge. There we go. And that's that. Okay. And I've already did the other three sides so that was all ready so for the this is my front here and I've already removed my um, hinge so that we could just get right at this for this part here which is the main page I guess you would say it's the same one that's on the cover I chose this piece here and these were my last four pieces in that 8x8 paper pack so that used that all up so all I have of that is some um, some scraps so, and so that worked out pretty good All right, and I'm going to go ahead and recreate my holes in there, I hope. Should have a... I'm going to find them. I can feel that one. This is not going to be easy, is it? See here. I have a needle here that's smaller. All right. Let me see if I can tip this to see where I'm at here. All right. There's a hole here got glue on the end of it so it doesn't want to slide through there. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. Let's 
sharper, but it's just not on a good angle here. All right, there's that one. Now, I know there was a... Uh... Let's see here, make sure I got this. Whoopsie, if I lose it, won't do any good, will it? There we go. All right. Let's uh, turn this so it's out of my way here. Get this in there. These things are so small. There we go. There's one. And I'm not worried about the, those inside there because this is closed up. There we go. All right. So now for our very front piece, we're going to do this blue. And I have edged everything already with my peacock ink. You can use whatever type of glue that you are comfortable with. I am using my art glitter glue. I gotta go up just a little bit, right, right along that bottom edge there. there we go. And I didn't feel that I needed to leave a big edge on there because of the um, of my one inch strips there give me a little bit of a edge automatically there we go yeah, let's see what we got here now This one is easier to see because I can lift it up and look right at it. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure if I should put some... I think I'm going to put some glue on there too just to kind of help that a little bit. Hold it in place. Okay. The holes are a little small. Holes are a little small. There we go. smaller fingers okay. and these did not come with brads these are just some brads I had from Hobby Lobby that I'm using to put these on there so. No wonder I can't get my nails to grow. Can't use them as tools and expect them to grow, can you? There. There. There we go. Can you see that? Perfect. And since I'm right like this, I'm going to flip this like this. And I've cut the top off of another piece. To coordinate with this 
Then I've also just taken some little strips because of the one inch strips it creates a little bit extra about an eighth of an inch extra on each side there so I've just taken some little of the orange or peach colored strips and added those on each end and uh, just to extend that a little bit so I didn't have such a big black amount on each side otherwise it just kind of looked funny to me so that's why I did that but you wouldn't have to. I'm gonna line this right up like that. There we go. I'm gonna turn it to this side. And this one didn't have anything on it to match up, but I did choose this as my piece to go here and this one I laid it on here first because I was going to do it that way but then I found out it was easier just to attach it to the strip and do it all at once rather than trying to line it up on there so all the others I put it on the paper itself and this one just had where I put it on the lid And that's going to get that a nice little edge there. We still have to go in and cut our opening back up. And we'll do that after we get these all on there. Okay, our next side is this one. So I chose the mushroom pattern for that. And that's going to go on our top here. And I have been working on a lot of flowers, a ton of them. So, I spent, oh, I would say a good part of a whole day just doing flowers. Just doing flowers. And then the purple one is going to go on this side here, where we have that. I'll lay that right like that. Oh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just do our side panel here first, and then we'll spin it and get that last panel. Here we go. So I chose this because of this card, and we're going to line that up perfect so that matches up with that. We basically have everything done on the inside. I did go ahead, and I'll show you in a minute here. I did go ahead and do uh, four pieces on the inside of this part right here. And I did a, in the, the blue. So. so those are already done, just to get a little jump on things there. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and turn it. And we'll do our last panel. And if you wanted to do these all the same, you could. Um, you wouldn't be able to do it with the 8x8 eight eight because there's only, I think, three of each one in the pack. If I'm not mistaken, I think you get three of each sheet. But you could do it with the bigger pieces that we use. Or your 12x12. 12 12. If you have the 12x12 12 12 paper pack. You could do that with those, or like I used the um, coordinating paper pack that went with this. Um, you could get it all out of that, so, if you would like. And I thought about that, but I also wanted to use up my whole 8x8 pack. So, doing this, I did. I, I did. There we go. Alright, we're going to 
tilt that down. And then this one we had placed those stamps under there. So we're just going to do the same thing with this one. Matches up. So I'll open this a second and show you that I put that paper on the inside there, all the way around, perfect. And let's see, I don't think, oops, our little swing fell off here. There we go. So all of these are all done. And let's spin this around here so we can get, whoops, get at this piece here. And I'm just going to take my exact blade and I'm just going to trim this out up here. So let me get, make sure I got everything out of the way. Is this one going to be sharp enough? And this is the easiest way to do it. Now, I thought about putting a piece of the acetate on here, but then I decided not because it's kind of like a, a doorway, I guess, or a window. But I decided not to. But you could. You could do that if you wanted. And then all we have to do is just decorate. Very tight in there. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and Slide this back together here with our cover on. And this one is our front here. And there we go. Let's see what we got here. Isn't that looking nice? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I've prepped a bunch of flowers. We're going to start with these ones here first. Now, these ones I cut out of my Cricut. And then I ran them through using my Heartfelt Creations. And these ones got the rose one. And then <clears throat> my other ones got this one, which is I think just the general the general one. So those are the two I used. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these ones here come with this is part of the thing in the Cricut. So what I've done is I've layered it up and I've pinched my leaves and I've bent it. And I bent it because I want it to hang off my edge here. Just like that. See? It doesn't hang off the edge. But I'm not going to glue this part down so that when you pull it off, the whole thing comes, if you have to take the, when you take the lid off, the whole thing comes off. Okay? I just thought it looked cool kind of draping down there. So we're going to glue this on first. And then we'll start placing our flowers. I don't know if 
try and have to go down. Let's see here. I think. And I also want to hang it off this edge a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And you could hot glue it if you want. So then I just kind of mixed up. This is the second one. It's a little different than this one. And we'll glue this one on the other side. So we'll hot glue some flowers on here. Get this going. And the hot gluing is nice because it uh, um, grabs a lot faster. And I'm not going to match these up exactly to size with these other ones or with the base, but the whole thing will be, will be covered. And I did cut out some of these flowers here. I you can see these ones. And these were cut out um, with the paper, some of my scraps. So I got those few of those. So maybe we'll tuck, you know, one of these in here or something to, to make it uh, blend in or not. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let's get another one of these dark blue ones. And we're going to sit that in there like that. And I just used some gems out of the jewelry department from Hobby Lobby in my centers. And you've seen me use these before. Oh, you know what? Let me pull that off of there. Put that up on the top. I'll get that other light colored one down there. I'll slide you under there like that. Oops, sorry if I jiggled you there. Will that fit there nicely? Yeah, I think we can use that there. I just covered them with um, glitter, painted on some of my art glitter glue, and then just glittered them up just to give it that extra touch. I thought it would look nice. Let's get some of these in there. I also created some purple ones and some but that's a different flower cut we'll show you that in a second and I think I can get a couple more of these in there oops sorry can you see how that's coming along yeah, it's coming along pretty good Pretty good, pretty good. Let me stand it up here a second so if you can see it better. There we go. Yeah. I've kind of got it leaning up against my tripod there, so sorry if it is. Uh... Oh, maybe we can get a couple of those in there. All right, let's. Um... Oh, I'd kind of like to maybe get some. I don't have the gems on these yet. Maybe I'll. Put some gems on there a second. Be easier before we get it on there. All right. Let me get a couple of these other ones on here. Purple one. You just need a little dab of glue. All right. 
Maybe tuck that one right in there. Slide the purple one in there, maybe. Okay. And these are cut from a couple of new dies. Guys, new dies I got from um, AliExpress. It just came a couple days ago. So I thought I'd kind of use those up to see. Slide that in there. That's kind of cute. And then let me get this up here. Maybe one of these cups right there. Coordinate. That. Oh, we didn't get our gym in there either. So let's go ahead and put a gym in there. Grab my tweezers a second, make it a little easier for this one. There we go. And I did not put any um, glitter on those. Yeah, kind of just pops out there. All right. So now my other one. <clears throat> I think we're going to do on this other corner here, right down here, opposite side, opposite corner. It's right back on there. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to kind of cascade down. I do want to kind of look at this and see, okay, right, I can stop gluing right there. And I also would like to have this kind of hanging over the side there a little bit. Just a little bit. As you can see, cascades down there. And the nice thing about being able to use the Cricut is I'm not um, forced to use one size. I can adjust this to the size I want and uh, make it bigger or smaller or whatever. So, all right, there we go. Okay. So, we'll start on this top part here. And then I'll, uh, can you see it like that? Let me see. There we go. I just have to be careful not to press too hard because it is um, leaning on those other flowers on the other side. So I just have to be careful. Okay, let's see here, let's do. And you actually got a better view of it now than I do. Okay. Just a tiny bit so I can see it a little better. Okay, hold those there a second. Okay, I think they're set pretty good. All right, I'm just going to kind of... There you go. So let's add... Here, oops, got my glue strings. Glue string, glue string, glue strings. Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in this little guy here. Put that one up like that. Or should I do the purple one? Oh, yeah, let's do that purple one there. We'll put that right there. Looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Okay, we need a gem for that. Let's put a dot of glue right there. Oops, I'm sorry, you can't see. Okay. Oh, just stick to my face. 
finger. Yeah. I didn't make a lot of those, but I still want to use them to pull in some variety in the top here. Give that a good press there. And maybe um let's bring in this little blue one here for that little edge there. Got a little camp right there. So that's another printed one. My husband just came in, so I might hear, hear some noise. A little bit of noise. And then that one there. Okay. I'll lift it so you can see it better. Pretty. Okay, so let's like, see those two edges there. And now I have some of these leaf sets that I cut out. I have four of these. And I've just taken my Heartfelt Creations <clears throat> pad and I just kind of ran the ball along them. And I just hit the edges with my ink there. Peacock ink. Then I also cut out just some of these petals that went with this flower set that was in Cricut. Did the same thing, ran the ball along, and then these ones actually have a little tab to glue down. So that's what I did with that. I think I can get another flower right in there. I cover that little spot there, get you down in there. Hold that a second. A little bald spot there. So better. Okay. So let's see what we can do with these. And then we can just see how this works and hopefully. Uh -oh. You know what I did? I don't think I can open this now. I got to pull this off of here. Dang it. I might have to cut it. This is my one that opens. I'm supposed to put it on the other side. Alright. This is not supposed to be glued here like that. This is supposed to open, so I put this on the wrong panel. This is not supposed to be glued down here. It's supposed to lift. All right. All right. Ah, that's glued on there, good. Okay. All right, get that off of there. if I have another stamp on. Let me look in my thing, see if I can replace that stamp thing. I can. Right. So, fortunately, I have the same one left. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put that on there. i got to slice this down a little bit to make it the right height. Just 
had it on the wrong side. So can't glue it to the side, but it's got to lift up. And this will cover with uh, with flowers. We can cover it with flowers. It just can't be <laughs> glued down over the edge. <clears throat> I was supposed to leave that unglued. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to reattach this to that. Oops, I like this. Can I trim it down some more? Sorry about that. 